The five hole. Your favorites come on the outside of this field for tonight's six race. You have a seven to five shot in Whitsendsdale, four to one for the Porter Gray in front court at seven to two. Tom Durkin set with the call. And they're off. Whitsendsdale's away quickly. Schnuckert is there. And Ralphie Boy from the rail into the first turn. And Ralphie Boy takes the lead. Whitsendsdale ranging up on the outside now. Just in behind the lead, Hurricane Jackson is away racing in third position. And Schnuckert is now parked out fourth. Perfecta Lobel has come away fifth toward the inside on the outside. Front court now moving steadily. Then farther back, it's Impressive Royce racing seventh, followed by Anson Hanover eighth. Pat Cash is ninth. And the Porter Gray is tenth at the quarter in 28 and two. And they're into the back stretch now. And up top, it's Whitsense Dale dictating the pace. Ralphie Boy is now back racing in second after moving to the outside momentarily. Front court is now left first over. Down inside, Schnockert is now racing in fourth position. And then uh, off stride, they're just uh, rough gated a bit momentarily there. Went front court backing up. Impressive Royce, who's now checked in behind that one. And front court has just stopped abruptly. Most of the field scattered in behind. Just sidestepping was Impressive Royce. Anson Hanover had to veer to the inside to avoid the breaker. Pat Cash was checked, as was the Porter Gray. Taken out of it was Perfecta Lobel. And off stride now at the back of the pack is front court. The half goes in 58 seconds flat unaffected by the uh, breaking horse was Whitsend's Dale the leader Ralphie boy coming out after him now and then Schnockard third farther back Hurricane Jackson fourth turning for home off three quarters and one twenty seven and four at the top of the stretch Whitsend's Dale bracing for the challenge to come Ralphie boy attacks and here comes Schnockard charging down the center of the racetrack and Schnockard takes the lead as they come down to the final 16th and pulls away Schnockard now drawing off here for an upset victory and farther back it's Hurricane Jackson Schnockert on the line by three and a half one of the clever things about horse racing is how they come up with names. And I'm, this one was really clever. The ingenuity, Stanley. And Abercrombie, son of Abercrombie, out of the Meadow, Skipper Mare, Gentle Persuasion. Great deal of ingenuity to come up with Schnocker. <laughs> you figured that out. It's interesting that he is a free-legged horse racing without the hobbles. And it's interesting that he does the job for Sam DePinto, who also was a developer of the outstanding Michigan trotter Red Roan. Uh, DePinto gets Schnocker at home here in easy fashion down to the stretch. And as you'll see, he's the only one in the field with no hobbles, no straps on his leg, nothing prettier to watch than a three-legged pacer in action. And there is one with a three-length victory over Hurricane Jackson and the fast-closing, the Porter Gray. Uh, always fast-closing, the Porter Gray. It's a little bit off the pace again, though, but comes up to get in the money. But Schnockard wins it as number six, 3580, 1840, 680. Frank Carreri, Pat Mazzell, and Shannon DePinto own the seven-year-old son of Abercrombie. One Hurricane Jackson was second, 1540 and 560, and nine the Porta Gray finished third, four dollars even exact, a six and one. It's a biggie, 414 dollars even. Tonight's seventh race, trifecta wagering coming up. Fantastic move, Catella Manzi at seven to one. Rounding out this field, O'Hara, John Campbell at five to one, Star Glory the favorite, Jim Darty at two to one. Tom Durkin with the call. They're off. Majestic move fires out and O'Hare O on the far outside it's trial run as Ralphie Boy moves through in between horses to grab the lead as they hit the first turn. Ralphie Boy taking command. Majestic move now into the pocket with a quick move there. O'Hare O is parked out moving up third and White Rock Fella is fourth on the inside. Trial run parked out fifth. Amber Lantern is racing sixth. Next night out is now seventh and then it's generally dynamic. Star Glory is parked out. Bandit Burt is 10th at the quarter. In 28 and 4 fifth seconds, they're into the back stretch. O'Hare has reached the lead. A headstrong Ralphie Boy racing second. James Scaramuzzi trying to settle him down. It's a length and a half back to Majestic Move racing third. On the outside, trial run is fourth and moving up now. White Rockfella fifth toward the inside. Next night out is moving up with cover. Then down inside, it's Amber Lantern, followed by Star Glory. Star Glory is now about nine lengths off the lead. Trailing are generally dynamic and bandit Burt. Gone a half in 58 and four fifth seconds moving into the far turn. It's still O'Hare O, Ralphie Boy sitting second. Trial run first over. Down inside Majestic Move is racing in fourth. There goes next night out. 
with a three wide move as they round the far turn and Bandit Burt also rallies on the far outside. In between horses, Star Glory is moving into contention now, only four lengths off the lead, but will need racing room as the field turns for home, chasing O'Hare O. Three quarters in 129 and three. O'Hare O in an all out drive here. Next night out, right there on the outside, second down on the rail. The rail opens up for Ralphie Boy, who comes charging on through, and Ralphie Boy takes the lead a 16th out. Bandit Burt flying on the outside. Ralphie Boy in front. Bandit Burt, one last surge. Ralphie Boy holding on. Well, as we heard Tom Durkin say, Ralphie Boy hangs on. Well, scooting up the rail with Jim Scaramuzzo, Ralphie Boy scores. O'Hare O for Campbell, 129 and three to three quarters. They're nowhere late in the mile. Scaramuzzo steers to the inside, and here you see he's closing ground, he's closing ground, he's getting clear to win it all. Mike Lachance gets out the whip for Bandit Burt, and they get up for second. Also along the inside, Majestic Move with Manzi rounds out this trifecta. It is number six, Ralphie Boy, right in the middle of the pack here, your five, six, seven box, number six. Ralphie Boy, 16, 28, 28, 60. Seven, Bandit Burt, 7, 45, 65. Majestic Move, 480. Star Glory really uh, was all kinds of traffic problems. Excess coverage, John. Really a, a troublesome trip for the favorite. 6, 7, Exacto, 104, 80. Trifecta, 6, 7, 5, 6, 25, 80. And the Daily Triple, $372.80. Continue on now, the eighth. Second, third, and fourth, and a two to one shot. Flying Fork with Ron Pierce out in fifth post position. All long on the outside, except for number nine, John Campbell. King Tyler is the horse. Campbell's the driver, and welcome to the Campbelltown races. Here we go. And uh, they're off. Bad intentions for the lead along the rail, Kai Mary Hanover with two good in third. Hustle up on the far outside, Kestrel Hanover with King Tyler. Round the first turn. Kai Mary Hanover leads it. The outside, bad intentions. Along the rail, too good. Then on the outside, that's Kestrel Hanover. Ralphie Boy is fifth. Another length and a half to King Tyler. Two and a half to Flying Fork. Then it's another length and a half to Radical. Two and a half. Genealogy and the trailer is super pickled. They're by the quarter. 27 and four. Kai Mary Hanover on the inside, on the outside, bad intentions. Those two battling for the lead. Another two back to two good. He's trying to close that gap now. Then it's another two and a half to Ralphie Boy. Another length and a half to King Tyler. Parked out Kestrel Hanover. Then it's Flying Fork with Radical, Genealogy, and Super Pickle. By the half, 55 and four. Kai Mary Hanover, parked out bad intentions, forced three wide, now Ralphie Boy. In the triple on the rail, that's too good. Also up on a three wide charge is King Tyler. Well, they go by three quarters. Kai Mary Hanover on the inside, up on the outside, Ralphie Boy. Three quarters, 125 even, they're in the stretch. Kai Mary Hanover, Ralphie Boy, splitting horses, too good. And it's too good. Now edging to the top. Too good, leads it by two and a half, three, with Ralphie Boy second. 153 and four, Bobby, and too good is good. The direct scooter three-year-old winning it for Mike Lachance. Five months since his last betting start, that was the Governor's Cup at Garden State Park for over 680,000. He was never closer than three wide at any point of the race and five wide top of the stretch. Here he gets the most perfect of trips behind fast fractions and splits horses here for Ron Kanigi. This possibly could be another robust handover for Ronnie. First start of the year as a three-year-old here. He took a mark last year, 56 and one, and chose racing against horses like In the Pocket and in the second also to beat towel who's a highly regarded three-year-old this year on the outside ralphie boy has never been in a mile this fast and king tyler got bet down because of campbell and john's on the board again here is a big big mile for a first start of the year and a big price 22 40 960 and 580 for too good ralphie boy 980 and seven dollars and king tyler saves the show 380 to show that trifecta of two four and nine one thousand nine hundred and thirty six dollars could have got the dentist paid off almost Bobby, without right. 153 and 4.
Here's Tom Durkin's call of the third. And they're off. Ralphie Boy and A.J.'s dude and toward the inside, best leader at the rail seven years. And into the first turn and best leader now up to take the lead. Seven years sits second and on the outside, A.J.'s dude ranging up third, Danforth fourth toward the inside. Ralphie Boy moving quickly second over. Phantom of the Opry is away sixth, settling in about six lengths off the lead. And then it's Yankee Hustler. Fiddler Blue Chip is parked out. The trailer is Danny Scooter as they race by the quarter in 28 and 2. The field moving into the back stretch. Best leader holding off the challenge of AJ's dude. It's best leader in front by a head. AJ's dude all out to try to get by him and finally overtakes by a neck. Ralphie Boy right there on the outside third and toward the inside. That's seven years now, racing in fourth position on the outside. Yankee Hustlers now fifth. Danforth is sixth toward the rail, followed by Fiddler Blue Chip. At the back are Danny Scooter. Phantom of the Opry is last at the half-mile pole. And they're there in 56-1. and one. And the field now moving for the final turn. And up top, it's... Ralphie Boy now beginning to edge away. Ralphie Boy by a length and a half on the outside. Yankee Hustler now picks it up second. A.J.'s dude is laboring in third position. On the outside, seven years has moved into contention now, moving up steadily in fourth. Best leader, the early leader, has been shuffled back, and he's got nowhere to go from the rail. They're off the turn in 124 and three. Ralphie Boy leads at the top of the lane. Hustled clear now by two. Yankee Hustler is second and driving hard. And then on the far outside, seven years is closing late. Best leader down on the rail, still no racing room. Coming to the finish, and Ralphie Boy is in an all-out drive, trying to hold on another 50 yards. Here comes seven years, and he's closing stoutly. Late move from A.J.'s dude, and he's flying, and here's the wire, and Ralphie Boy holds on. With James Scaramuzzo in the bike, Ralphie Boy does hold on. Well, Dave, as the weather gets warmer as it is now, there's a lot more movement in the race as the pace gets faster in the race. You've noticed a lot more fast halves as we did here. And uh, and horses, the best horses, try to brush to the front and last. Well, this may not have been the best horse, Ralphie Boy, but he is very fast within the mile. He was able to brush to the front. And while he is getting a little tired here, a lot of the horses that have a little fresh pace got buried in the back. Uh, Dan Forth just gets untracked here at the eighth pole and has a, a decent bit of run. As a fan of the Opry, a horse that Bill O'Donnell had a tough time getting to the outside. As we can see here, it's Ralphie Boy going to last by a head over seven years. They were all coming at him, but Ralphie Boy gets the job done. 155, the final time. And across the board on the winner, 1780, six dollars 380. Seven years, 340, $3. AJ's dude, 320. Exacta 8-2, and the Daily Double, Sky Fighter in the second, Ralphie Boy in the third, eight, make that 10 and eight, the numbers in the double, 85-80, the return. Well, we'll visit the shore and take a look at the featured race from Monmouth Park on their first Saturday of racing, and then we'll turn to the trifecta here. Stay tuned after these messages. We'll be right back. to one, Ralphie Boy, 8 to 1. Billy Big Nose, purse of $13,000 in this race. 8 to 5, your favorite is Ombro Intercept with Mark Lancaster. And ready with the call, here is Tom Durkin. They're off, and Humber Trail hustled away from the gate. Ralphie Boy is there, and on the inside, Sir Shannon, as they hit the first turn, it's Ralphie Boy who's out for the lead, and Sir Shen right there in the pocket early. Humber Trail has hustled up to stay close early. Edson Gold has come out fourth as Billy Big Nose takes to the outside fifth by two. Nuke Rockney is sixth, seven years is seventh, and on the outside it's Pacific 08. True Blood Brother is ninth. Armbro Intercept is last at the quarter in 28 seconds flat. And the field now moving down the backstretch. Up top, Ralphie Boy leads the way, and here comes Sir Shannon on the outside with a rush. Billy Big Nose follows Sir Shannon. Humber Trail is now fourth. Edson Gold racing fifth by two. Nuke Rockney is sixth. Seven years is still seventh. Pacific O is eighth on the outside. True Blood Brother is racing in ninth position, and the favorite, Armbro Intercept, is last at the half-mile pole, and they've gone a quick half, 55 and four-fifth seconds. Into the far turn, Sir Shannon up top, holding on to a short lead. On the outside, Billy Big Nose now with heavy pressure, 
Ralphie Boys right there in behind the lead. Third, Edson Golden, good striking position. Second over, New Crockney's in the outer tier. Down inside, Humber Trail. Armbro Intercept is launching a bold rally on the far outside, and he's picking off horses one by one in a matter of strides. Armbro Intercept has come from last and draws within two lengths of the lead. Four wide as they turn for home. Three quarters in 125 and two. They're at the top of the lane. It's Sir Shannon who dashes clear now by two. Ralphie Boy coming after him in second. Armbro Intercept has flattened out and he's dropping back again. And they're coming down to the wire. It's Sir Shannon who draws off here with authority. True Blood Brother closing strongly late on the inside, but it won't be enough to get to Sir Shannon, the winner a length and a quarter. And then it was True Blood Brother and Ralphie Boy. You want a little more LASIK story? Three starts, 10th, 9th, and 9th, and then goes on LASIK and loses with those 10th, 9th, and 9th, and 57. Can't pace better than that. Now it comes back with a second straight win, and this one in 54 and 3. LASIK? Well, maybe? whether or not LASIK is going to help you, I think, varies from horse to horse, but LASIK and rest, I think, will help almost any horse. This horse took five weeks off, came back, two solid efforts, a second and a first, and I think the sharp handicappers might have caught this one because last week, Sir Shannon's race was on a sloppy track. It had been a downpour 10 minutes before the race. It was listed at fast, and the very next race went up to sloppy, and Sir Shannon actually has two slop races, first and second tonight on a fast track, just romps off by himself. And romps in 154-3, winning it for the Remens, the Lichtenberger, Spagnalo, uh, uh, Ray Remen stable, Larry Remen trains, Ron Waples on the bike, 5-2. to two. Sir Shannon returns, number one, seven dollars, four dollars and three eighty. Six True Blood Brother was second, fourteen eighty and nine forty and three. Ralphie Boy finished third, five eighty to show. Exact a one and six returned, one hundred dollars and eighty cents in tonight's first race. We've got the daily double. One, Getty two to one and John Campbell. Knight and Dixie eight to five. James Scaramuso. Del T C crossing at five to one. Howard Parker comes out of the seven hole. And uh, they're off. Knight and Dixie for the lead. Stoppler on the outside with past ability in third. Mr. Chippendale on the rail fourth around the first turn. And it's Knight and Dixie with the lead. Stoppler second with past ability third. Two and a half Mr. Chippendale fourth. The outside. It's Weedy in fifth. Getty sixth and a length and a half to Keystone Oscar with Del TC crossing. Proven innocent. Dan Elsa's adds they're by the quarter and 27 and 4. And it's Knight and Dixie by a length and a half. Stoppler second, two and a half. Past ability in third by three. Mr. Chippendale fourth. Another two and a half. Weedy fifth. Getty the outside six. Keystone Oscar seventh. Del TC crossing is eighth. Two and a half to prove an innocent. Three to Elsa's edge. They approach the half and Knight and Dixie with a two and a half length lead. Stoppler second by four, past ability in third, Mr. Chippendale to the outside fourth, and by the half, 56 and four. Knight in Dixie with a length lead, Stoppler right there second. Well, then it's a gap of some five lengths to past ability. Mr. Chippendale is fourth, Getty forced to go three wide from fifth. Keystone Oscar follows sixth. They go by three quarters, and Knight in Dixie with a length lead, Stoppler continues right there three quarters 126 and two as they turn for home Knight and Dixie with the lead Stoppler now makes his move to the outside then it's another four lengths to Getty Knight in Dixie with Stoppler on the outside and Stoppler now edging to the top Knight in Dixie second Stoppler in front Joe Schwind also doing a good job of rating the wire. He knew just when to move Stoppler to get him to the top. Nihilator wins the race. Nia thrusts the second here. Sons of, however. Stoppler, a three-year-old Nihilator, did not race at two. Gareth Alaborn, recent purchase, and uh, it was a pretty good effort. Call had him up in Goshen. Qualified back here against Anchor U, so he had license even though he was up the track. Nine links. Second, good effort against much less tonight. Uh, Knight and Dixie, recent sale. Harold Story now. James Scaramuzzo has taken over the driving and training. Cuts all the mile here. Does all the work, but does not get the uh, spoils in the end here. Finishes second. Good effort from Knight and Dixie. Close, but no cigar. Stoppler stops the timer in a victorious 156. Paying 1685, 60, and 360. Knight and Dixie holds on for place a good effort, 340 and 280. Getty, who got some late money, Shows three dollars. Five four exacta. Nice little price in the fifth race. Returns eighty dollars and forty cents. 
media is pouring in on Mud Run Hustler with a hot driver, Jack Moisev, even money. But Ralphie Boy at 6-1 to one and Nuke Rockney, they were given good shots here. As is Falcons Honor, 3-1, to one, Ron Pierce. And Termination is 9-2 to two with Catello Manzi. And they're off. I just bet you, together with Ralphie Boy, and it's Ralphie Boy for the lead. I just bet you in second. Another two and a half lengths back to Mud Run Hustler in third. That's Nuke Rockney in fourth. Another length and a half. I'm a full two fifth. Falcons Honor in sixth. Termination trails. Approach the quarter. There goes I just bet you. Now to take over from Ralphie Boy. Gap of four to Mud Run Hustler. Quarter time, 27 and three. Down the back stretch. I just bet you by a length. Ralphie Boy second by four. Mud Run Hustler third by five. Then it's Nuke Rockney. Another four back. I'm a fool too. Then Falcons Honor and Termination. The field is spread out as they approach the half. And I just bet you with a length lead. Ralphie Boy he in second. Mud Run Hustler a close third. Then it's five back to Nuke Rockney. Another three. Falcons Honor. Length and half Termination. Four and I'm a fool too. 57 and two for the half. On to the far turn, I just bet you by length. Ralphie Boy to the outside, second. Mud Run Hustler, third. Two back, Nuke Rockney in fourth. Termination in fifth. Well, then Falcons Honor, and I'm a fool too far back. Well, they approach three quarters, and uh, Ralphie Boy comes roaring out of the pocket to open up uh, some four lengths. Three quarters, 127 and four, as they turn for home. Ralphie Boy by four. Mud Run Hustler is second. Trying to close in. Well, then it's another length and a half back to Falcon's Honor. But it's all Ralphie Boy going easily now. Rumps home by four. Mud Run Hustler second. A Ralphie Boy, two for 48 the last two years, but this one is very sharp tonight for driver James Scaramuzzo. Yeah, Billy was, but the horse, despite, as you said, two for 48 coming in, still pays the feed bill, almost 43,000 last year. Uh, hit the board a couple of times this year, although, although uh, not for the mutual players, and the race shaped up very well. He and Eddie Davis on I Just Betcha bottomed out the rest of the field. Uh, James pulled the pocket, and Eddie Davis will start your double off nicely if he can get home. Company and Ronnie Pierce, the 6-5 to five choice, but not by much because Thailand and Bill Fay are at 7-5. Genuine Scooter has Jeff Cameron. They are 16. Snorehound, the winner last week, is sick. Ralphie Boy and Noble Fella both at 6. Gravedigger at 25, though the driver change to Cat Manzi. John Bothy. With Brad Ash Breeze second. Up on the outside, Noble Fella. Around the first turn, Ralphie Boy with the lead length and a half. Noble Fella the outside second, Brad Ash Breeze third. Two and a half to company. Another four back Thailand, then it's two to Genuine Scooter. Grave Digger trails. And by the quarter, 27 and two. And it's Noble Fella with a length lead. Ralphie Boy second by two and a half. Brad Ash Breeze third, then it's another two and a half to company fourth. Thailand in fifth, Genuine Scooter sixth, and Grave Digger. Down the back stretch they go. It's Noble Fellow leading it, rushing up on the outside company. Ralphie Boy third. Here comes Thailand getting on the way now from fourth. Bradish Breeze in fifth, Genuine Scooter sixth. Grave Digger continues to trail seventh. The half 56 and two, and Noble Fellow parking out company. Ralphie Boy gaining along the inside third. Thailand upon the rim fourth. Genuine Scooter fifth. Bradish Breeze in sixth. And two and a half to Grave Digger. They go by three quarters. Noble Fella continuing to fight off the challenge from company. Three quarters and 125 even. And they're in the stretch. Noble Fella on the inside. In between them company. Here comes Thailand now, out in the middle of the track. And Thailand takes a short lead. Late move on the outside from Brad Ash Breeze. And along the inside, Ralphie Boy now with Rome. It's Thailand. Ralphie Boy on the inside. Heads apart. 
question to you, Mr. Farrell. Did uh, Lou Fei fall asleep at the wheel with Thailand? Well, it's uh, possible as we watch here. We're going to see Thailand starting to tip out three wide for Fei. And uh, through the lane, it's going to look like he's got this race under wraps. In fact, right about here, Faye's looking pretty confident. He's got a handful of horse, and he's just uh, steering. Meanwhile, Jim Darty's been trying to squeeze through when he finally catches a break there when Noble Fella starts to drift out a little bit. Darty is driving through on the inside with Ralphie Boy. Faye still looks like he's cruising to the wire, but uh, right about here, I think he notices that there's a looming presence to his left. Darty's uh, whipping, driving, and slashing. Faye tries to get Thailand in gear, but uh, too late. No, well, we saw eight lifetime marks set last night. We've got one in one race here. He's going to take three, two ticks off his mark. Ralphie Boy's going to get the money here. Fourteen forty, five forty, and four dollars. Thailand three sixty and three dollars. Bradish Breeze up for third at ten dollars eighty cents. That's going to be the second win in thirteen starts for the James Scaramuzzo trainee. First race exactly. Six and three, sixty-two dollars and forty cents. Here they come. And they're off. Like a shot from the 10, Ralphie Boy is out strongly. So is the 8, Rising Legend, toward the inside away. Smoothly is the 3, Retribution, into the first turn. It doesn't take long for Rising Legend to get the lead. And no faster does he get it, Ralphie Boy is up to get the lead. It's the favorite, Ralphie Boy on to the top, Rising Legend second, two and a half, Retribution settles for third, another three to whip out on Frankie C. Then on the outside, finding a five spot is Wonder Sam. Next in line on the fence is Hartworthy. Hung out and going on up now is Fair Week, followed at the outside by A.V.S. Redwood. Then to the inside is Hickok Road and a slow Jerome Lobel. 28 and 1 for the opening quarter up the back stretch they had. Ralphie Boy tugging away at the bit, leading it a length. Second is Rising Legend. Here on the outside, a brush from Frankie C. Trying to get by Ralphie Boy. Scaramuzzo, though, doesn't appear to be willing to let him go. And these two are now hooked up at the half mile pole. In 59 and 2, on the soft side, Ralphie Boy with that fraction's now not going to let anybody by. Frankie C on the outside is waging war in second. To the inside is Rising Legend. On the outside, second over belongs to Fair Week. Next in line at the inside is Retribution, then comes another length and a half toward the inside to Avs Redwood. They're coming over to three quarters, and Ralphie Boy is leading it out there in a length. Beginning to show the wear and tear is Frankie C. Toward the inside is the rising legend. Has pace and nowhere to go. Then Fairweek is tipping out three wide. Three quarters, 128 flat. They're into the lane and Ralphie Boy still has something left. Scaramuzzo puts the pedal to the metal and the lead is building out the two and a half lanes. Rising Legend is second. Outside is Frankie C. Far outside it's Wonder Sam. On through the lane now. Ralphie Boy, home free. Going to take it here with something left. Close for a second between Wander Sam and Rising Legend, mile and one, 55 and four dollars and 40 cents.